SmartPay is just moving into its next five year plan. It's a hugely exciting thing. 2018 is going to be a record breaking year for the organisation, both in terms of our scale and where we are. We're very fortunate at SmartPay, we can take long term views. We've just come out of a five year plan where we froze the management fees and made that commitment, that non for profit commitment to support the partners through the SME journey. We've just made this next commitment for the next five year plan to do exactly the same. So where we could have taken the 10% commission at £30,000 earnings plus, we have decided not to do that and commit to the fixed fee at £150. Being the leader and dominating the market the way we are, it's really important that we continue to take long-term views at Smart PA. We are about delivering world-class PA sectoral support to our business audiences. And we do this in a very unique way. We're a disruptive technology. We've got to lead the field. We're moving into a completely new corporate world today where we support Parker Hannafin Engineering, Total Oil and Gas. We're moving the organisation towards a shared economy, which is hugely exciting. Um, today, though, is more around focusing our mind on where we need to be for 2018. Um, we continue to invest in our technology, we continue to invest to ensure that we can deliver to our customers world-class services. We've made some groundbreaking developments uh, in our business development program and we've got some huge announcements to make. The first and the biggest announcement is, and I'm very proud to say, we have just completed a partnership deal with the largest group of SME businesses in Britain. FSB. FSB are 400,000 strong SME businesses and the most respected group of SME businesses in Britain. When the government are making policy changes, um, they speak to FSB. When the government are making any challenges to industry, they speak to FSB. So we're hugely proud and very excited to be working and partnering and supporting the FSB. Uh, partnership. It would never have happened uh, had, in my opinion, our organisations been aligned. FSB are not for profit and Smart Pay support their partners in the SME area on a not for profit basis. Had there been negotiations on profit sharing, I don't think this deal would ever have uh, completed. So we're hugely excited about it. Um, there's quite a bit of investment in there as well. Smart Pay will be investing up to £30,000 to help drive the marketing of the, the deal. Um, a deal only really happens and develops successfully if, if there's proper backing from both sides. Um, and we definitely feel we've got the backing from FSB. From our perspective, we'll be working on webinars, we'll be working on uh, awareness campaigns throughout the partnership and we've got a really really good program over the nine months that we'll be sharing with you on the hub. Um, we've been working really closely with our ambassador partners on this project as well and again there'll be further announcements on the hub so you'll be able to see how that deal is going to manifest itself uh, and what we'll be expected from you as a partner to make this you know, the biggest deal in the history of Smart PA. There's a lot of challenges this year ahead. Um, FSB were one of the organisations to say that actually GDPR will be the greatest challenge to small business in the next um, two years. And we, we agree with that. At the same time though, we see it as a wonderful opportunity because to be GDPR compliant, there's a lot of administrative tasks needed to complete the compliance. At Smart PA, we've created training. At Smart PA, we're going to be driving that training on with supportive technology to ensure that both Smart PA and its partners are GDP are compliant. So again, look at the hub for further updates on that. Um, we'll need your participation. Um, there may be some small additional costs uh, to implement this that is far reaching out with Smart PA's control. But I think you'll all agree that we need to be GDPR compliant. 
and to be GDPR compliant and understand uh, what that means will be something we'll be able to share and develop with our SME customers. Finally, uh, in our commitment to uh, continuous learning, we're really excited that uh, Steve Price of Microsoft has both joined us as a partner um, and he is delivering now new modules and trainings uh, on taking full advantage of the technology that's in existence through our Microsoft 365 uh, program. So uh, again, this is going to be on monthly webinars, modules, it's part of our continuous learning program. Um, and essentially that was our commitment to our partners to continuously learn and develop. Um, we're also, as part of our um, commitment to um, deliver free training in less fortunate areas uh, of Africa and the Middle East, we'll be delivering over two million pounds worth of training this year, which again is part of who we are, our values, our ethical trading, these things are hugely important to us. I'm sure they're hugely important to you as a partner. And I know that the feedback that we get both from the corporate market and the SME market is such that um, they, they back us all the way. And I think it's hugely important that we keep driving our trading ethics and, and values forward. Um, look forward to a really fantastic 2018. Um, I'm committed to supporting these initiatives. Uh, and I look forward to speaking to you in around eight weeks time, uh, where by which we'll have fully launched with uh, FSB. And I'm sure there's other really exciting um, deals that we're developing that I'll be able to announce uh, in the weeks and the months ahead.